So these people, they are monogamy. Yeah. But the breakup is like nothing. You can get a marriage at the morning and a breakup at the evening. And the <laughs> next day, you have another wife or another husband. So it's very easy. What? You have another wife? Yeah. In the evening? Yeah, you can marry today at the morning, at the evening, break up. The next day, having another wife. It has been a day. Sweating and sweating. <laughs> So they calling. We have my brother here. Hello, hello. How are you, my yes. friends? Uh -huh. My name is Gunen. Gunen. Yes, Gunen. You know, I thought you are a Maasai. I know I'm not Maasai. I'm the Toga. Do? The Toga. The Toga. Toga. Yes. That's another tribe in Tanzania. Yeah. Wow, guys. They are so close to these people because all of the all of us we're just living in the bushes. Okay. We do the, have the, some cows and goats and sheep. Okay. So we call the Toga pastoralism. The Datoga. Yes. So this guy is also a tour guide. He's also a, like a YouTuber. Here, yeah. so go check him out. Mm -hmm. What's the name of your YouTube channel? Uh, Lifetime Adventure Safaris. Lifetime Adventure, yeah, Safaris. Lifetime Adventure Safaris. So, You're him welcome. and the other brother, mm -hmm. they are tour guides here. Mm -hmm. Wow, guys, we have okay. to be careful because these be... people, if they just shooting anything, they yeah. don't look forward, they have to be yeah. concentrated on the subject. Be, yeah, they have to so focus. If you just be forward, they can be, uh -huh. can be hurt by the hours. Yeah, yeah man. So, uh, you, you know, initially I thought you are a Maasai. No, no, I'm not Maasai. Because uh, we met somebody, mm -hmm. and the language you are speaking, I thought it was Maasai. <laughs> oh, then I okay. was told, you guys are Mangati. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, you said you are Datoga. Yeah, Datoga and Mangati is the same. Oh, it's the same thing? Yes, yeah, the same thing. Wow, guys, I'm still learning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to the Maasai. You know, uh, in your tribe, mm -hmm. you wear that thing here, like yes. the, the, the leso. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, then you have pierced your ears. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you remove the teeth. Exactly like, like the Maasai. Yeah? Like I did. Just like the Maasai. Yes. Wow. Just everything, mm -hmm. if you just look in the Toga and Maasai, mm -hmm. it's not too much difference. Yeah, there's no much difference. A yeah. bit awareness of like maybe the, how do they dressing. And guys, a little bit different. Uh, you, know, you know, people say that mm -hmm. people from Tanzania, they don't speak English. These guys are speaking deeper English than me. Ah, no, 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 come on. <laughs> Their English on, is no. even better than mine, honestly. So, guys, uh, you, you know, so many people, honestly, so many people think that mm -hmm. in Tanzania, mm -hmm. people do not speak English. And uh, maybe some of the people will think that even the Wazabes, some of them have not learned. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I would, uh, I would do a video mm -hmm. tomorrow mm -hmm. to even enlighten people. Despite them adopting their tradition, mm -hmm. they still go to school, right? They have children going to school? The, 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 Hadzabi? Like the, yeah. Hadzabi? Yeah. The young uh, people, do they the have young, any? The, the young people uh, nowadays, yeah. they just get taken to the school. Okay. But for themselves, like, taking their kids to the school, mm -hmm. it's they don't complicated. Do. They don't do <laughs> Unless you just go there and then... And force trying, them? Yes. Force oh, you them. should drop them? Yeah. Just took the kids and take to the school. But sometimes they use... Mm -hmm. When they just go to the school, they used yeah. to come back and they say, we just want to live their life. Like, we just stay want in to... the bush, go hunting... And it's, that's all. like the freedom for them. Wow. That's what they want. Wow. Yes. wow. So because they say in school a lot of commands, uh -huh. like teachers do this and this and this and this. Oh my gosh, for themselves, they need to stay at home, mm -hmm. making some new arrows and planning where they can go hunting. And the next food. day or the other day. Yes. They don't have to, like a dream like, I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to be a... I, I, I want to be a YouTuber <laughs> like Steve. You know, I've traveled over... I think now... Wow. Well, I think we have manga here. I've traveled over 500 kilometers to be here, mm -hmm. honestly, and uh, it has been my dream mm -hmm. for so long mm -hmm. to come and see the Wazabes mm -hmm. first hand, you know. Mm -hmm. It's different even from when you see them in the video, mm -hmm. because here they are real life, you see them doing their thing. Really, really So it, nice. you see it raw, mm -hmm. as people will see it in this video, and tomorrow's video, and other videos to follow. Normally, uh, these people, mm -hmm. some of the people are thinking like, we're just planning them to do like no. this. But no, this is the real, real life. You know, when you just go back to the camp, yeah. you will see, I'll show you where they live, the yes. houses, and yes. where they cook, mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. When they just go hunting, yeah. and bring back some food. The food and, to their women. Yes. You know, uh, the, the, uh, the women are still at the, at the camp, yeah. and waiting for the men, just exactly. bring out some, anything to eat. So, you know, right? since morning, mm -hmm. uh, I've been looking for, for them. Mm -hmm. Until I met you guys, mm -hmm. so uh, it's your fortune. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I tell people I'm one of the luckiest people. Mm -hmm. You know, God always goes before me because where we met, uh -huh. honestly, did you think you would even meet somebody? Uh, no, no, no. Then now it happened, the your motorbike going. slipped, <laughs> <laughs> they fell down. 
because they were me. passing. <laughs> so God, God had to put a brake on their motorbike. <laughs> because honestly, me, I did not know. So they fell on our feet. <laughs> so they stopped. We greeted each other. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you know, you know. then I introduced myself. I said, I'm Steve. I'm looking for this and this. Mm-hmm. Then you guys have been so good. And you're so lucky because we're just meeting. Because we're a guide. We just yeah, came in this morning to say hello to them. <laughs> And want to go out and yeah. try to get something. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you are so lucky. Then I just happened. Yes. And, and I, you know, you know where I was. I was going. asking my brother, who is this guy? <laughs> is this guy with camera and I don't know. And then you, you know, say, I don't know. Maybe somebody yeah. wants to go there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Sandia. <laughs> so you know, you know, in the morning, uh, I woke up mm-hmm. in the morning around seven a.m. Mm-hmm. and it was drizzling. Mm-hmm. So I had planned with a motorbike guy. Mm-hmm. I told him, come pick me at seven. Then I called him. He was off. So I said it was drizzling. Mm-hmm. Let me chill. Let me give myself like one hour. Mm-hmm. Then I went and washed my all my clothes. That's what that. Mm-hmm. Then uh, I told the guy there, uh, let me walk out, take tea. Mm-hmm. Then I see what's next. Okay. When I walked outside, there's a guy we met yesterday at night. At night. So because I arrived yesterday at night, mm-hmm. I'm, it's very easy for me to make friends. Mm-hmm. So I talked to this guy yesterday night. He gave me his number. Mm-hmm. So I called him. I'm, I asked him, where are you? He's very old. Mm-hmm. Like, almost 50, 60 years. 50, okay. Yeah, so I tell him, uh, I'm taking breakfast here, come. So the guy comes. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, I took supper with him. Mm-hmm. So he was giving me a lot of information. We talked. Then in the morning, he comes, uh, but he was uh, with another guy he was working for. Mm-hmm. So they left for like 10 minutes. When I caught up with him, mm-hmm. uh, he told me, let me take you to the stage where you are going to pick a vehicle to Gorfan. Mm-hmm. Then from Gorfan, you are going to go to Mandago. Mandago. Mandago, yeah. Mandago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, uh, mm-hmm. when I went there, mm-hmm. he met his friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, the friend said, I'll drop you at Gorfan. Mm-hmm. Get to my motorbike. Mm-hmm. Come in, brother. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> so I'm, I was just explaining to my brother what happened, mm-hmm. how we met. Mm-hmm. So now, uh, when we went to Gorfan, mm-hmm. uh, the guy drove me around. Mm-hmm. Then uh, we headed to the right mm-hmm. from, uh, you know, from uh, Barazan. So the guy that brought me, that you saw, so he just calls a random guy. He says, uh, come here, come here. Do you know uh, Mandago? The young boy says, yes, I know. Then he tells him, uh, get this guy to Mandago. He just wants to go there. <laughs> <laughs> they never ask me, what do you do? They ask me nothing. Yeah. So me, I just told them, uh, I do films, I do video. Just take me there. They told they me, it's okay. it's okay. So the young guy, we were just walking. We first went to the camp. So when I went to the camp, I met very nice people, a lady and a man. So we talked for like 10 minutes. They gave me a chair. I sat down. They told me, uh, here is like the camp for the old. This is where we wait for the hunters. So uh, this, yes, the young boy, you know Gorfan. I'm sorry, Mandago. The young boy says, yes, I know. Then he, uh, the couple tells him, take him to Mandago. But I don't think you will see them because it's already late. Yeah, I told him, the boy told me, can we go back? Then you come tomorrow. I told him, no, I'm going now. Even if I'll be alone, I'll just go to the camp and wait. They'll find me there. <laughs> so the, the, the plan was, just take me to the camp, leave take me there. Leave me just there. leave me there. <laughs> Even if I'm alone, I know somebody will show up. So guy, so the, like, I, so I, I think the guy thought so I was like. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then then so God happened. You guys you showed have up. To know, you have to yeah. know that Tanzanians people, they yeah. don't know afraid about anything. Like, you are strange, man. I don't yeah. know where you're from. And then I just pick you and then just call the Mandaga. I don't know. Why so I, mean, I just told the guys, like, <laughs> I'm going to Mandaga. <laughs> so the guy was like, are you sure? I told me, yes. I, I know where I'm going. <laughs> then he asked me, do you know the Wazabis? I tell him, I just see them in the video, but mm-hmm. I know they are human. You know, even yesterday, me, I was mm-hmm. planning to just come, mm-hmm. show up, sleep where they sleep. That was my plan. Like, like really? The, the, the other guy was like, "Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot do that." Yeah, he thought I was sure. crazy by this. So we did. We did what we did, and uh, we are here, guys. So these have made new friends. Mm-hmm. So God made us uh, meet new friends, mm-hmm. and things are good. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. We have been hunting since morning. Mm-hmm. It's around, I think, one, one p.m. So guys, uh, go check my brother out. Indigenous. It is African indigenous culture. African indigenous culture. culture. And uh, lifetime mm-hmm. adventure Life, safari. Lifetime adventure safari. Yes. So you guys, anytime you come to Tanzania, these are the guys to hit. 
So these are the guys to take you around. They are very honest guys. We are deep in the forest. Like honestly, where I am, I don't know. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. We are in the middle of the forest. <laughs> so it has been a day. We have been hunting. So we just took some minutes to make our video. So they are very nice. Hit them up. Uh, you can give your WhatsApp number. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. So my WhatsApp number is 07 plus 255. Oh, plus 255 uh -huh. 75 Mm -hmm. My brother, yes. can you repeat your number again? Your oh, WhatsApp my number? WhatsApp number. Yeah. Uh, finding it for the Hadzabe tribe culture. Yeah. African indigenous culture. Mm -hmm. Through my WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Plus two five five mm -hmm. seven eight five mm -hmm. three three one five zero five. So guys, coming to Tanzania, and these guys know a lot of English. In fact, I think what ours is watered. <laughs> Yeah, the English is top notch, <laughs> top notch. Coming from the north, I'm Steve J1. <laughs> <laughs> on. So guys, uh, keep subscribing and check the YouTube channels. They have the biggest channels. Yeah, You're welcome. You're Very humble welcome. guys. You won't even know. Very humble guys. Like forever. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm sure that we'll enjoy a lot. We have we have a lot. Uh, well, I've made out there. I've made brothers from Tanzania already. Mm -hmm. I've made brothers. So anytime, New family. Anytime, anytime, I'll be showing up here. I think even the, they are going to show me a place to to buy land. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. We are family now, you know? Yeah, we are family. So, yeah. guys, uh, let's keep with our activities. Yeah. So, we are going to catch up later in the day. Then we talk and share a lot. Yeah. Peace, guys. And uh, keep watching my brothers. Yeah, subscribe and share their videos. Too. Super. You're welcome. Yeah. So, guys, as you see where we're passing, this, these are the lake shows. This lake show. I'm with these guys. Our hunters are there. I don't know how they are even floating. So here, we are passing inside the water. So, so you just jump. My shoes have water inside. Like, you just have to pass here. Wow. Look at this place. All this the lake shore. There's mud. There's water. Even those guys are stuck. <laughs> Other guys. So, <laughs> so <laughs> they are running away. So maybe my shoes have a bit of water inside. So I let them catch up. And it's very humid here. Yeah. It's very hot. It's very hot. I want us up. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Water from here. It's like a water source. It's very hot. It has been very hot. So there's water. So they're just fetching from here. This is a natural place, see, and they're just drinking natural life. So we have that lady washing over here, so they're just drinking from the utensils. Wow, wow, but the water looks very fine. But this is where even the cows drink from. Wow, so guys. So we have this. So guys, it's time to go. <laughs> time to keep moving. Hear that? That weasel. They are calling their colleague. So guys, these guys are trying to hunt. So those are my brothers. They they, they, they have seen a bird up there. I don't know how they're going to eat it, but we have something. We have a monkey. There they are running. <laughs> we are running. We have a monkey. We have a monkey inside there. So we wait. Palm tree. 
so we're waiting for it to show up Kaha ya We have this. Let's protect it as well. Let's see. Oh, oh, I've seen it, guys. It's hiding by oh. Oh, oh, wow, guys, just hiding there under the leaf. Wow, 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 wow. So, you guys, we're going for the arrows. We are handing this manga again here. They are zabis. Wow. Oh, Shot. It went inside. It was shot, but it has gone inside. Can I talk about Kando? It's going outside. Wow. Yeah. 
Kaya ikaw dyan. Uwe, ito ko ako doon. Ito ko ako doon. Ito ko ako doon. Guys. It has the arrow, it is still carrying the arrow. So guys. There it is. It's going up. Wow. Guys, it's on top there. There. It's a very big bank. <laughs> so they are going up. The monkey is being stuck. So up there. So he's going to get it. Okay, talk to the camera. So guys, uh, so he's going up to collect the mangi. It has been stuck up there with two arrows. Arrows. Oh, in its body. Wow. And that thing is thorny. It is Donny. So guys, this is a moment of truth. Let's capture this. Is <laughs> is a memento. Our guy here is going up to collect uh, the monkey. It has been stuck on top there. So it has two arrows in its body. So he's going up this tree. And this tree is very thorny. Very, very thorny. Very thorny. So guys, uh, keep watching the video to the end. We gotta see this moment of truth. Wow. This is not easy. It ain't easy. So let's see what happens. Wow. 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 Guys. This is the spirit of the hunters of Africa. The African hunters. They were dubbed so we have to capture from this side. Oh. So guys, this the arrow. So these arrow, two of them have been stuck in the mangi. The mangi is up there. So let's wait for the moment of truth. 
So these these are the arrows that they are using. And just the traditional bow. See? This is just man-made. This is a bow. Man-made. Just a, a stick and uh, a string. Then this arrow. Then they are using to hunt. So we have different uh, arrows. We have this. This for hunting uh, animals that can run away. And others that don't have a pointer. Like this. For squirrels and birds. Oh man. Oh man. This thing is holding my hand. This tree here. <laughs> Tearing my flesh apart. But this guy is going up a thorny tree. Wow. Guys, I want to show you how this tree is. I just want to show you how thorny this thing is. That I'm saying is thorny. Look at this. Look at this. All these are thorns. All these. All these are thorns. And remember, they are facing up. So I don't know when he's coming down, how he's going to come. <laughs> Look how far he is. <laughs> he's into the skies. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Guys, this is it. This is the spirit of the Wazabes of Tanzania. The only remaining hunters gatherers of East Africa. So guys, we got this. Look at this. Look at the thorns here. Just look at those thorns. <laughs> this one, when it holds you, look at this. When it holds your flesh, it tears it. But the guy is climbing like it's nothing. Wow. I even have thorns stuck on my fingers. <laughs> look, from here, all the way. A thorny, a thorny, a thorny palm tree. I don't know if this is a palm tree. Look, look how far he is. No climbing uh, things. But just look how far he is. And these things are very thorny. Wow. These guys are like strong. Oh, 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 oh. Guys. Guys. Wow. 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 Let me move back. <laughs> because here it's getting real getting real people oh no 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 He's going for the monkey. The monkey has been stuck up there. So we're waiting for it. Not as well. As an echo. Uh I'm not on an no 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 and not a clear na shuffle jinang or sepa ahead to full na to co co and not a hingi mata quan or co that I've got to two or two one out of the data cut and uh ba na ming of what of Paka ten ila ka ana kwa delegate iko ko kuna na ko 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 o ta pu na ko ngai ma a eh la la me ne ona ngon 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 e ya na o ko o ko na o an o an o se pa an ngon 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 e na ko o ko o ko a sa te te ko ko mi ko okay tena this Let's jump from this tree where our guy is to this tree. See there? 
זה מאנקי. וואו. אתה איזה מאנקי דה. אתה איזה מאנקי. זה ארדזיה. אורגנזם האודי. So our guy is coming down. So the monkey ran there. So our guy is coming down. All the way from the top, he is here. So he's almost finishing the journey. Almost finishing the journey. So, uh, up to this point, let me say goodbye and uh, thank you for watching the video up to this far. Tomorrow I'm showing you part two of this video, uh, how everything that we caught, how they cook, how they eat, uh, then our brother is also going to take us through a lot about this uh, community. Sure. So guys, uh, keep watching the videos, subscribe to my brother's YouTube channel, yeah. and the other guy, and myself, Steve, Steve J1. So from Tanzania here, we say good love, one love, and see us. Sure. Peace. See you tomorrow. See us. Eating wild fruits. So yeah guys, they also eat this. These are wild fruits from this tree here. So they also eat it. It's part of their diet, yeah. Have our mangi there. It has come down. It has finally come down after the long fight with so many arrows in its body. Let me zoom in. There it is. Dead. So my guys are going for it. This kind of a plant has so many thorns. If it holds you, you can't live. But these guys are going up. They're just going up. Look. Look at this. So these guys are going up, 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 up. Wow. Amazing. So we're going for it. We're going for it, guys. The moment of truth. Wow. Guys, it's fighting back. This thing for two hours just refused to die. So the, our guys coming down from the trees. Look at these tiny trees. These guys can't be understood. Now we have this. It's holding on the bow. Like wow. Oh, guys, down. She come here. Tell him to hold by the tail. Just drag it. See whether it will come. Oh, guys, yeah. So let's go, let's go. The manga, I think it's now dead. It has really fought. 
cold. That's rain. Guys, I think we're having rain coming. But let's see how things go. Zane Kumukia. What a key to your home. What the from So we're going for the mangy guys. Wow, so we are going to tap the monkey there. So, guys, this is a moment of truth. The moment is here. Yes. Wow, still fighting. Still fighting. Yep. I'm not I am not Koku. What say are you, Koku? What say are you? Kapula, Kapula, take a chabi. Kapula, Kapula, no. Mogesa, Koku, 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 Hey Peter, Chana Aton and a Peter, Chana, Peter, Chana. Waka Pete, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. i Ota o be azabe a ko zo no ko ka 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 ti e na no ko so a ka ta ko a si di di e na a a to no ko ta i ti ka ta wi ti ka ta wi ti ka i aha aha hi a mo aha ko ko inge aha ko ka ti ti na ko ko a ma o ko ka pe ko ka pe ni o ni o ko 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 aha so guys uh, this is it is it Quaka, <laughs> <laughs>
So guys, we go home. We go home now. Guys, uh, these guys will sleep here. This is their fireplace here. I'm seated in one of their houses. So there's no door. You see? There's no door. There's no door here. This is their house. This is a structure. And you see it's raining. See? It's raining. So those are the two motorbikes that brought us here. So they are houses. That is one of their houses. That. You see? They even have fire. They are cooking something. There's another one there. Let me show you there. Another one over there. And another one over there. So live here is very simple. This one is uh, more complicated because it has a tent on top. So like that is the modest. Because the rest they use just the normal thatch. You see, even the rain will drop. You see, it's dripping in. It drips in here. Where, where is the rain going? In a gugonga. I mean, a potelea up in Luganga. So the rain is coming in here. You see. So this is our dog here. Simba. So this is our dog. So it's it's raining, guys, and we're in in deep deep in the forest. This is deep in the forest. We have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's a baby, you see. Yeah, that's a small baby, and she's getting rained on. Wow. I'm just hoping she's fine. But the mother is inside. <laughs> They're carrying the fire. They're going to cook. <laughs> Look, the baby. <laughs> guys, this is a normal life now here. Oh, we have other guys there. Like, these guys interact with the rain like normal. Is no, I'm hiding here, but it's wow. Like rain is just a normal living style here. So guys, it is what it is. Even see this meat. There's meat here, drying. Wow. So these guys have kept a store. There's meat in store here. <laughs> wow. Just the simplest life. The simplest of lives. You know, initially, you know, bro, in my village, when I was growing, yeah. we had so much poverty. I know so many people would not believe it, but I once slept in a house like this myself. Sure. Yeah. Only that ours had a small door. Yes, this one I'm telling you for true. Okay. When I was very small, we, we had so much poverty in our home. Uh, these, I have pictures when I was small. Where our home had such structures. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bro, you can't imagine even in my home, mm -hmm. it's not looks like that. It's yeah. like this different shape. Yeah. We made of material like this. Mm -hmm. There's trees, shrubs, dry grasses, but ours is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We put some, uh, we put the, the trees, mm -hmm. dry grasses, or some shrubs. Yeah. Then after we put the sand on the top. Okay. So our, our like a manyata. You know, it's like a manyata. You know, a manyata, they put the same, but they put the cow dung and mud. The cow dung, yeah. But yeah. us, mm -hmm. it, we, we put cow dung at the behind, but on the top, we put the sun. So this okay. is a difference. Okay. Yeah. I will show you tomorrow. Yeah, guys. Guys, uh, I met the best guys here. Like, I, I just met the right guys for this moment. So, uh, we are going to share a lot. But I used to. I once, for a long period of time, slept in such a house. <laughs> Yeah, this but is normal, bro. This let is me tell you something. I never used to feel the cold because uh, for us, it was a situation. Mm. But now, if I sleep here, <laughs> I know. Many of us will wake up with maybe pneumonia. Mm. Me, me I'll, For me, I'll be afraid of... <laughs> <laughs> you know, yesterday where I slept, yesterday where I slept mm -hmm. uh, in Ziwani, mm -hmm. the hyenas were crying behind there. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, so near here, the lake. Yeah, even here you sleep like uh, mid in the night, like woo. And you, if you walk up, it's like the hyena crossing. But nobody I, they, crossing. It's they don't bite the dogs. And no. Uh, and the people? No, they, they never. If they see like uh, the house of the hearts of people, yeah, or some house of the people with a fire, uh -huh. so the animals know like 
there is human being here. So they didn't just come they really can't close, but come in. just walking around, but not coming close. You know, house. me, me, I thought like, uh, you know, I used to watch so many videos of the Wazabe people. I was so fascinated with the, the tradition. So I thought like they build uh, in the structure of the Maasai, mm -hmm. like around, mm -hmm. then they build inside. But here everybody is independent. <laughs> yeah, sure. This one is there, the other one is there, the other person is there, the other person is there, the other person is there. Let me ask, uh, like, do here, will every man have their own wife? Yeah, yeah. Um, they are not, they are, uh, I mean, the nomad, I mean, the one wife. The, the, oh. Monogamy, it's not a polygamy. No polygamy. No polygamy in this tribe. We are just a monogamy. So one you wife, marry one wife, one husband. But the one of the wonderful thing is that, uh, so these people they are monogamy. Yeah. But the breakup is like nothing. You can get a marriage at the morning and break up at the evening, and the <laughs> next day you have another wife or another husband. So it's very easy. What you have another wife? Yeah. In the evening. Yeah, you can marry today at the morning at the evening break up. The next day having another wife, which is new one. What about the children now? Uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, that if I had a child with uh, the lady that I married in the morning, uh -huh. we have like two children, uh -huh. and then we break up, I marry another woman. What happens there? So the most if they are young, so the children are lived with their mama, and the mama take care of them. So will the husband... woman live? Like, let's say, this man is from this camp, mm -hmm. he marries another lady from the, a different camp, or they marry from here? Uh, another camp. Switch. Or you don't marry from here? Yeah, no, no. You cannot, because the people who live here, are, they, are these families, like, let me ask, are the people living here related? Yeah, most of them are related, but sometimes not related because, uh, you know, they, they are allowed to live together. So combination of the families, like the 10 families, sometimes five families, some groups of some villages are more more big than this. Like mm -hmm. 40 people, yeah, okay. 50 people together. Mm -hmm. So if it's like 50 people, it must yeah. be like 20 families, you know, okay. because they are very few. Mm -hmm. And normally they didn't get like a, a lot of children, like a two or three, not so many four children. Mm -hmm. yeah. So most of them, them uh, sometimes some are relatives, some are not relatives, but they live together. And they're allowed to move from one camp to another camp. So this guy mm -hmm. is from this tribe, mm -hmm. he can relocate from here to any other camp. Yeah, the same tribe, but the, the other camp. They will not ask him questions there. No. If you feel like uh, I'm not comfortable with this camp, yeah. you wake up in the morning, take your stuff, <laughs> put it in the bag. You leave the house. You leave the house, go to another camp. Let me, let me move, because right, right where I was seated, the rain is dripping, even here it's dripping. It's dripping everywhere, guys. This is the best experience. I think God brought me here for a reason. I don't think uh, I even came here for the content itself, but I'm learning a lot. There are so many things I'm learning from this, this place. Yeah. and the interaction so guys uh for your information it's raining real real this is real rain <laughs> yeah you know you know like look at my pants <laughs> they are wet i'm being rained and i'm inside the house you see you see this is water it's dripping on me and we inside the house so now assume it's at night then it rains and this house falls down where do you go it's sleeping and raining Sometimes even they don't have even this in a simple house, just sleeping outside there and raining and no problem. Hmm. When it's raining, you know, uh, the water is scarce here, so when it's raining, it's time for these people to take a shower. So it's like, you know, it's wow. time, wow, to take a shower. <laughs> for free. <laughs> like, I was wondering, the guys went to cook the squirrels and the mangoes there, yeah. in that tent there, in that house, shelter. So they were just walk walking. Uh, outside, where there is rain, they were just walking. It's like, no, like they don't even care. Yeah, they, don't, they don't care about it's raining. Wow. It's wow, my people. Yeah, this is real. This is real. This is real. So now you have said that, uh, and do they pay dowry if I marry? Yeah. What dowry do I pay? Baboon. Monkey, big monkey, baboon. Wait. So you have to pay, pay like uh, two big baboons. You have to kill like two big baboons and pay to the family of the girl, like a dowry. And some liters of honey, like three liters of honey, and tobacco. And that's it? Yeah, that is, that is, that's it, yeah. I have a wife. Yeah, you have a wife. Uh, since I came here, I've not seen a girl. What? 
Since morning, I've not seen a girl. Uh, we have, Where are they? Then in the, another house. You know, during the day, the men and the women they stay separate. Oh. So if you go okay. to, that, to that house, you you meet a lot of uh, girls there. and women over there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But during the night, everybody sleep with his wife. But when it's day, so the women stay together and the men stay together, making some stories or okay. proceeding with their activities. Yeah. Wow. The day in activity. So like uh, in this tribe, mm -hmm. when uh, when do people marry? Like if I'm a boy, mm -hmm. at what age am I supposed to marry? You know, these people, they don't really count their age or mm -hmm. the number. Yeah. So if you ask like all of them here, they don't really like the real age. Yeah. But they just look for the biological changes. Okay, if yeah. You have like something. Yeah, you know, yeah, they you know. know. You see like. The you know, breast, yeah. Yeah, the breast, for mm -hmm. the girl, breast, and yeah. stuff like that. So they know. Oh, they know you're good. Right, yeah, you're right age to get married. So when a girl comes to puberty mm -hmm. and a boy comes to puberty, okay. you're ready. Yeah, yeah they're ready. So I can marry. Up, yeah, you can marry. So it's uh, approximately... 13, 15. Yeah, from 15, 16, 18, yeah. 15. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, what would you say, like, is the life expectancy of, like, the people from the Wazabi? Oh, the life expectancy of these people is mm -hmm. a little bit short. Okay. Sure. Um, it's like uh, 60. Mm -hmm. 60, 60, 60 for the, for the men. And sixty, like sixty-five for the for the women. The women. Yeah, and it's, it looks like it seems like uh, short. I think it's because they eat too much meat. You know, even the carnivorous mm -hmm. animals they eat yeah. meat, and their life yeah. is very short. Mm -hmm. I think even that's that's why the tribes their, their life is a little bit uh, short. And it's not only that. Uh, another thing is like uh, the scarcity of the food. You know now. Yeah, you, you know we went hunting in the morning. Yeah. We only got a mangey, like, and, like and five four, squirrels. four or five squirrels. Yeah. So, this is all so let me ask you, mm -hmm. we had uh, four guys. Mm -hmm. Are those four families? The four guys that uh, we had. We, we, we go, uh, the four guys. Uh, yeah, who are, who are hunting. hunting. Are those four f different families? Uh, are they married? They are, they are married. Three of them, they are married, but one is not married. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, so uh, are they going to share the two are brothers from the same mom? But okay. The two is from the different family. Okay. Yeah. So are they going to share this, uh, like what we got, the squirrels mm -hmm. and the mangey? Mm -hmm. Are they going to share among us all the people here in this camp? Yeah. Will everybody this, eat? Yeah, everybody eats. Okay. And not only that, you know they 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 do like uh, gathering. Okay. So they do hunting and gathering. So if they get a little. Uh, animal to eat mm -hmm. so the women go for the gathering collecting oh. the, the fruits like a bubble fruits tamarinda or desert dates okay. and some roots like a wild cassava okay. and dif different varieties of the roots so they combine those little sprays they get like a monkey and okay. uh, those squirrels mm -hmm. with the with the roots mm -hmm. and the wild fruits wow yeah wow guys still raining still dripping my shoes are already wet. I have nowhere to, to run to. In fact, I've run everywhere inside the house. Water is everywhere. So the only thing we can do is keep talking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so let's just keep talking. So uh, huh. another question that I've always had. When the women are giving birth, like our women, they go to the hospital. Do they go to the hospital here? Mm. Well, what happens? Yeah, to go to the hospital is not uh, common yeah. for these tribes. Mm -hmm. Back in the days, they never go. Okay. But nowadays, they at least they're at least going. But it, when they have like a very very serious case, case. So women give birth from at here. At home, at home. The, the women normally the women give birth at home. Wow. So they have like the older women who are very good in delivering baby. Yeah. Like, uh, midwife. Mm -hmm. They're very special. Yeah. With the mid midwife. Yeah. So they know they're very technique and yeah. how to deliver the baby mm -hmm. so it's normal to take to give a birth at home <laughs> <laughs> so Guys. if you go to that uh, the, the, the lady's house yeah uh, which is the lady's house by the way <laughs> i've seen a girl go here another one there's there there another houses. yeah there's yeah, a hut in, there in this side Not oh, that one. There oh. Is another hut oh yeah there's side. another one there yeah. so Guys, there after the rain i'll go out <laughs> and i'll show you me i'm being rained on my clothes are wet every you see my clothes are wet everywhere, everywhere. I'm just running away from the rain. But it is what it is. Looking for this thing ain't easy, you know? Yeah, so even if you go to that house, <coughs> you'll see uh, the small kids, the little kids, like the monkey's kids. 
A month's kid? Yeah. A month old? A month is kid, I think. Five months is kid. There. And they don't feed the cold. They don't feed. Wow. But uh, I feel, you know, if I was asked, mm -hmm. uh, or given the opportunity, mm -hmm. like, the government should, uh, in order to improve their state of living, as much as they do their things, mm -hmm. the government comes up with initiatives to, like, uh, help in, uh, let's say, cultivation. Mm -hmm. They grow food th for them. Mm -hmm. Getting food here is hard, let me tell you. Yeah, uh, you know. Oh, are there initiatives like that? Maybe I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to be ignorant. Yeah, you know. You know the the first the first president of Tanzania. Nyerere. Yeah, yeah Julius. Yeah. Yes. He was trying yes. to change these people. Okay. Yeah, from the bush, moving these people from the bush to, to modern life. To modern life. Mm -hmm. It was it was 1974 yeah. up to 1976. Mm -hmm. It was uh, villagerization. Yeah. Villagerization. So he was trying to move the government, trying to move these people mm -hmm. to the modern life. Yeah. To the some uh, small towns, build the yeah, the, the, the Ujamas. The Ujama. We call them Ujama. Ujama. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the government was trying to, be, to move these people and give them the, the modern house, build the modern mm -hmm. house, give mm -hmm. them for free, mm -hmm. and supply them the food like a maize. Everything <laughs> so the me. government was supplying maize. Yeah. Why <laughs> supply maize? Rats. Why? Because the community eats that. Yeah. There was the plan was trying to move these people and change completely the life of these people. Mm -hmm. But the people was not ready to do this. They was not ready to change. So when by that time when the government moved them to the modern house and leave them, they left. They left at the middle of the night. The people move again to the bush. <laughs> and when they moved again to the bush, they didn't go to the, the same place. They, they shifted. Came, they shifted to, the, to another place, which is very, very thick forest. And sometimes in the, in the rock caves, baobab caves, and hide them there the, in, the, the very, uh, yeah, in the very thick forest. So the government used like another month. Looking for them. Looking for them. And they, they apologized. Yeah, yeah. The government had to apologize and say, I'm sorry. Yeah. I will not touch you. <laughs> and they move again to the to the to, to the to the city or the small town. Mm -hmm. so, so, and when they leave they they are like see like two two days, three days, then within the night move again to the bush. So at the end the government gives say, Whoa guys, we give up okay, we give up yeah. Live your life. <laughs> And allow them continue to continue to hunt. So, like, uh, if they want to to like buy maize flour, uh -huh. I've seen them. Uh, they cook hugali here. Uh, how do they get the money? Or oh, they work now? Uh -huh. Some work. So after this first approach failed. Yeah. With the, uh, with the, the, the the approach of the government failed. Mm -hmm. So they leave they leave them uh, to live their life. Okay. And they allowed them to hunt. But in open areas, not in national the, parks. Yeah. Yeah. So they are not allowed to go in Serengeti and Gorongoro. No. Okay. They're just allowed to hunt just, in open areas. So, so if, nowadays, mm -hmm, yeah. Um, back in the days, the population of the animal here in the open was areas so much. was so much, and the people they get a lot of animals, they survive. But nowadays, because of the growing population of the people yeah. in Tanzania and competition, other tribes, yeah, other tribes are coming around them and grabbing their land. Hmm. So their land becoming very small, yeah, and the mo and the population of the animal be decreasing, mm -hmm. much decreasing. Mm -hmm. Most of the animals are moving to the national parks, yeah. So the availability and of the food for them it becomes a uh, uh, very small, yeah. So the government decided to supply uh, some mice, oh, okay, or some flour to cook ugali. So now there is, this, but not not all the time. It's like. Uh, it's like uh, during the dry season, mm -hmm. mostly during the dry season, the government supplies some maize to them through the, the revenues. Maize or maize? Maize. Oh, maize. Maize, maize. Maize cut. Oh, maize. Ugali, yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. What about the meat? They go and hunt. But these guys have a lot of meat. <laughs> Look, guys. <laughs> meat is here. So sometimes government supplies some maize mm -hmm. through through revenues. Yeah, okay. Government collect yeah, the tax, the, yeah. The, the, Clients and customers coming to this, mm. so the government oh, some yeah, you know, some revenue, revenues. yeah. So they use these revenues to buy some stuff and to bring supply to the tribe, okay? Yeah, so they try doing hunting at uh, some time, they get some some, flowers. some flowers, even out at our place, even even nowadays mm -hmm. in Kenya. Uh, I'm trying to move, guys. I'm trying to move. <laughs> so let me hide here. So, even in Kenya, you know, uh, the government supplies a uh, 
most of the people, like the nomadic people with a lot of uh, the pastoralists, with a lot of food supplies. So guys, the rain is subsiding. So after it ends, we are going to go out. We see the cooking. Yeah, sure. For the first time, I'll see somebody eating a... No, I'll not say a squirrel. Because at our place, we... People used to eat squirrels. I don't know about today. But a monkey. Monkey. <laughs> for the first time. Monkey. Yeah, so we're going to eat a monkey. I want to taste a monkey. Today, oh. Have you ever eaten a monkey? Me? Yeah. yeah. I have, I have a taste of monkey. Okay. Bro, it's very sweet. Very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> My people, I'm going to eat a monkey, you. <laughs> Don't joke with this, uh, this journey. So, guys, we are here. We are inside. Still raining, drizzling. We've been rained on, but that is nothing compared to the information that uh, we are getting. So, I'm here to see their women and their children. At least I saw one. I've been seeing men only. So we are here with our guys chilling. Dugang. I'm here at Walo. Yeah, he's our motorbike. So yeah, this is our motorbike guy. So he's here. So <laughs> we're just relaxing, waiting for the rain to go down. Then we hit our 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 processes. So guys. Our lunch today you want to be uh, we are going monkey. to eat. We are going to eat a monkey with uh, a stew of a uh, squirrel. Yeah. Wow, a gabi lit, a gabi lit, guys. So let's wait for the rain to subside, then we go out. You, you see the bracelets here? These ones have been gifted here. <laughs> so I've been gifted by this community. So we have all these guys here. This is where they stay, their families. So one of uh, the guys here has a wife. And the child that you will see in this video, and I think I've been rained on. I think I look smart. <laughs> I should be rained on uh, from time to time. So, guys, uh, this is a moment, a lifetime moment. Just, I just wanted to experience, just stay with this community, experience, see how they do their things. Tomorrow I'm coming back. Tomorrow I'm coming back and the day after because uh, here they have just welcomed me as Steve J1. So, we family. At the end of the day, we are all people, we are all humans. Uh, furthermore, we are from the same region, East Africa, and uh, Tanzania is our sister country here. So this is one of the most uh, indigenous tribes that uh, have kept their, their tradition to the core. They are focused in staying natural, staying natural within the environment. So guys, behind me, these hills, these are the hills that I was showing you yesterday. I'm deep, deep, deep inside the forests. So here, even the hainas, they tell me they, the hainas just walk around. See, this is the house. It has no door. It has nothing. This is where they sleep here. They sleep here at night. So these guys don't care. Like, it's like they have nothing to lose. So the world is theirs. Theirs to stay. So if you want to come here, feel welcome. They are very social guys, sociable, uh, staying with the people naturally. And thank you so much for your subscriptions. Thank you for watching my videos to the end. So I'm coming back with more and more videos of the Wazabe people. We examine them. We have heard. So I want to hear from them because we have heard from the tour guide that they can marry in the morning, they divorce by the evening. That is nothing. So uh, their life expectancy, you have heard it. Just see their simple life. No cultivation, nothing. So the we, the maize flour that they get, they get from the government. So the government supports them, the government of Tanzania. So guys, uh, up to this point, let me say goodbye. Thank you for supporting Steve J1. Thank you for always staying with me. And uh, strong we stay together. Let's push. Uh, keep subscribing. Watch my videos. If you want more of this, if you have any question, leave it in the comment section. Let's hear and let's see what you can do. So, till next time, see us.